working as assistant professor in the Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry and the Lead College of Pharmaceutical Today I will be giving the demonstration with respect to linear test for iron IP. So again, before you start with the linear test, let us know what are linear tests. These are the quantitative or semi-quantitative tests which we are carrying out to identify the impurities present in the given substance. So let us see the linear test for iron IP principle. So the principle in what is very simple. The ferrous ions in ammonia or solution react with the thiopycolic acid the moment that iron iodide is produced, uh, it will give rise to uh, there is a light pink color to deep reddish purple color. Last year, the reagents what we are using for the, this particular uh, limit test for iron. So here we are making use of the sample that is the given sample for testing purpose for the limit test. And then we are making use of the citric acid, we are making use of the thioglycolic acid and the standard uh, iron solution and the distilled water and the glass waves. We are making use of the uh, Nestler cylinders, that's uh, one for the test and another for the standard. Then the glass rods, measuring cylinder and so on. To identify the pH, we are making use of the pH paper that is litmus paper that is red litmus paper okay we are making use now with respect how and KSC we give the demonstration with respect to the procedure to what is the limit test for higher type it is also given component in a test In standard, add a lead solution.
steer the test solution and also the standard solution take a piece of litmus paper to that add drop of test solution if the color uh, for litmus paper does not change then add ammonia to adjust the acidic solution into a alkaline solution then stir it then again test the litmus paper ph If again the litmus paper does not change into a blue pH into alkaline pH then again add ammonia Okay okay by adding ammonia solution stir the test solution and now check the The litmus paper from re it uh, red red litmus paper turns to blue. It indicates the solution has uh, acidic acidic solution has turned into a alkaline solution. Take a ammonia, then add it to standard solution. Then stir it. Let us check the pH. the litmus paper red litmus paper turns to blue then the uh, acidic solution turns into alkaline solution it in make up the volume by distilled water up to 50 ml more than the standard hence the sample does not passes the limit test for iron as per ip